Hey, what's going on guys? This is Barrett with the Porta Keeper YouTube channel. I got a little unboxing today. Today we have the brand new Bose Tamper. So this is actually my second Bose Tamper. And I've contacted Daniel since the beginning when he was first developing this. I thought it was a really neat concept. So if you're not familiar with the Bose Tamper, it's an automatic tamper. So traditional tamper, you'll grind in your porta filter and you'll tamp by hand. Uh, there are models such as this puck press that do it automatically for you. So you'll grind your dose in and you'll put it into the tamper and it'll tamp for you. So the difference between the Bose tamper is it is a small mobile tamper. So you can put it in a drawer. It's pretty easy to put away. You don't have to have it plugged in. I think it's a really neat tool. Uh, his initial ones were 3D printed. A lot of people, they kind of knock the 3D printed stuff. I'm a big 3D printer fan, and really you better give it a try, in my opinion, because the quality of 3D prints have really gone through the roof, and I always felt like it was fantastic. I've used my 3D printed one. It's down at my shop right now. It's green, and it's worked flawlessly for me. But as any company wants to do, they want to grow. So... Daniel has the new mass production version that is injection molded. So instead of it being 3D printed, it is actually the plastic is made in an injection mold. And he spent a lot of time to upgrade the electronics in it. The old version, it had buttons that actually stick out of the plastic. The new ones are capacitive touch buttons. Has a similar screen. You touch this bottom button and it'll turn on. If you were to set it down and just leave it for 30 seconds, it'll automatically turn off. So that's really nice for battery saving. That was kind of one of my issues with the original Bose Tamper is there's a little button on the bottom. I'd have to get like a paper clip to turn it on and off. So that would save my battery if I didn't want to leave it on the charger. And this new one, it will keep battery for quite a bit longer. And let's see, so it's saying shut down. So see, we left it and we didn't use it for 30 seconds and it turns itself back off. Really nice. Hit this button in the front, it's back on. You can see since this, this is the clear model, it has a big coil. And what that coil is for, if you've never seen this before, is it is a inductive charger, kind of like your iPhone inductive charger. So you get an iPhone charger base or a, not even iPhone, just Android phone, any phone that charges wirelessly and you place the Bose tamper on it and it's going to charge it. A uh, little light lights up, it'll turn green when it's fully charged. Really neat. So if you have a little charger, you can leave it over in the corner or you can let it run for quite a while and just wake it up when you're ready to use it. There's a couple calibration modes. We're not going to go over that today, but I just really feel like Daniel stepped it up. I think it's a really cool tamper. I like the clear personally but he does offer it in black white or clear on the final mass production version he might do more colors than that but that's all i know of you can pre-order one of these right now for 250 dollars so not ex not necessarily cheap by any means but i've seen people out there buying like these saint anthony blocks and distribution tools and stuff i think you're better off spending your money on something like this personally uh, I, I do like a traditional tamper. I have a pretty big collection of different tampers. So I do like the traditional tamper, but there's just something about this that I really like and I really enjoy. I love my puck press. There's another one not on my bar right now. It's the Turn Auto Tamper. It is pretty much identical to the puck press. Um, it does take up more room on your counter though. You can see it's about the size of this DS64V. It's actually a little bit bigger. So it will take up a little bit more room for this. If you don't want it, you can tuck it away in a cabinet and you're good to go. So that's just a quick overview. If you've not seen it in action, let's actually just do like a quick, I'm gonna grind on my Atom over here. And no WDT or anything like that. We just have some grounds in there and we'll wake it up and I've not calibrated this yet so I might need to calibrate it good to go so it's as simple as that super fast super easy you can configure this to do different 
moves of operation like it'll go down and it'll hold it down for however long you put it'll do like a double tamp or a triple tamp so it does a lot of really neat features and just how you want to run your shot but that's a quick unboxing of this Bose tamper I'll put a link below if you're interested in it uh, I plan to do a another video showing the puck press the turn out of tamper the original Bose tamper as well as the mass produced Bose tamper and just do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison um, this one's about 250 the turn auto tamper is about 300 this puck press is about a thousand so I mean the first two are fairly comparable in price the puck press is obviously quite a bit more it is designed more for a heavy commercial application if you reach out to Daniel he'll say that this is good for about a thousand tamps before it needs charged so I know he's really beat these things up and tried to break them so I think that's really cool he's been a really fun guy to get to know uh, make sure to give him a follow. Thanks for watching.